Hello well, YouTube fans of Star Trek fans out there, it's another review from Star Trek 99. Now I know I haven't been really attending YouTube much lately, but being it's been the holidays I've lost track of time and I haven't really had time to make a video really. But um, I'm making one now and that's all that matters really. I'm trying to get my webcam to stay in one place really. So I can today. Come on, stay in one place. Thank you. Right, now, as you can see in my background, I have the Enterprise from the original series in, I think, Space Dock, isn't it? I think Space I've not really seen this one before. It looks really like Defiant, the Telerite. The Telerite? Is it Telerite? I don't know, is it Telerite or Terrain? I can't remember from that. On Eric one uh, on the ISS one, where they finally defined. But you've got the Enterprise there, and then you've got the Botany Bay there. And it's just just my calendar sort of thing. I thought I might put it up for my review. I don't know if anyone's got this one, but it says no B A B C or D. Scotty says that on the next generation one when he wants to re reproduce the bridge from this enterprise. But I'm not going to talk about the calendar. Nope, I'm here to talk about my new ship because it has been my birthday. <laughs> well, the holidays have been so I've got a few new Star Trek things and a bit of money. Many, 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 Right, um, as you can probably see, this ship I've got is, I, I don't know if you tell, but the colours aren't the correct colours. The colours are all rotten. It, it looks white on my laptop now, whitish, more creamy, but it's not. It's, the colours are wrong. The, it's like, it's some damage, because I got this for a gift, and... I presume it's probably came from something like eBay or something like that, and it's just got some damage all over it. So, but it has it does all the same thing. The buzzards, buzzard collectors light up, um, makes the sounds. Um, yeah, it's the original one from Playmates is version, but now this is Playmates's brand new Enterprise. This is the brand new Enterprise from Playmates. Right. Uh, now, I know this one's alternate timeline. I know it's brand new one, but if you look at that's this is the original player makes one, and it's the new one. Now, that one's this one stays up on the screen. This one really doesn't. This one just comes off the screen once goes. One, that one's up on the screen, but this one, like like I said before, is like a player make art sign one. And you press it. And everything off light sort like a art science version. So that's that one from the original from the movie. But Playmates did the Star Trek stuff in like the nineteen eighties sort of thing. Like Next Generation came out. But they did the the first ship they actually did was the Enterprise D. The Galaxy class vessel. Which I have magically <laughs> still. Got a lot about magically. I love this ship. My first ship. Um, yeah, but this one, this is their very first ship they did. Uh, they were going quite happily with the next generation until some trick, some well, not like some trickies, but quite a lot of them said that, like, hey, why can't you do the original series Star Trek stuff? And they thought, okay, we could do the original series. So they brought out the brand of Star Trek, the, the original series, and they had a poster. That says we've just beamed them down. It would have the crew of the original series, and you could get them in a box. It would have like Kirk, Spock, Bones, Scotty, Chekhov, Hora, Sulu, and I think um, Nurse Chap Chaplin, Chapel. Can't remember that name now. But I think it came with her and it came with phases, communicates for me. It was like a cardboard cutout thing of the bridge. You could take it all out, and you could probably just wave figures like in it. And then they did the communicator, the phaser, the tricorder. And just loads of stuff. They brought out loads. They brought out the Romulan ship, the Klingon D7 cruiser. They brought out loads. And also, this these ones were actually one, some of the first to actually come with a stand. Now, this is one of my favourite type of stand because it's like got the original insignia on it. But this one has a peg on it and it mounts. It's, it's like moulded to the shape of the hull underneath the secondary hull of the Enterprise. And it has a nice peg there. So I can just take my ship off and play it and put it back on and it look nice, stay still and stay in one place. But 
that's one of the really good things about this ship. Another good thing is it came with four corresponding sounds, which at the back here, I need to like do all the sound effects. I'm going to do them at the, at the, like, the, the end. Um, the deflector dish, I seen on the box now. On the box, it do, it does show that the, the deflector does come. I've seen it somewhere. That the deflector does come out of this one. Apparently, it, like come, it, like comes out a little bit and push it back in. But I ain't trying it on mine a little bit. I, I have tried to put a little tissue bit, but I didn't want to do it and break it. But I have seen it somewhere, but I don't know if that's someone broken theirs and just done it like it. I don't know. But the windows are all pre like painted in and pressed it and like mounted in. A lot there's a lot of windows on the the um secondary hull. Uh under here there's like the phase banks, the sensor not saucer, um the sensor dish, sensor dome, and then like the phases and torpedoes and like that. And up here is just blank like it is in the show. And you got those poorly painted lights here, which are like moulded on to it, but the light is to come then move on to the next one and blob blob. Next one blob blob next one blob blob. They didn't take any care of making those lights oh what happened there? They didn't take any care of making those lights there. Um, it is all the cows apart from like the lights and like the painted in stuff. The cells are also painted. Everything's painted really. Everything's painted. These are plastic. That's plastic, and the rest is made. Just the cows. Or most. This one's actually more painted really than the original series one. Um. Uh, I'm trying to get a good view so you can see all the lights. Mm. Now, I'm going to do the lights now. You have four lights like the Enterprise D does, but you have you don't have impulse. You have like bridge sounds, phases, torpedoes, and warp drive. Um, I keep forgetting where about all of them are because this ship is not really been with me long. Really, it's I'm still figuring out trying to remember where. Which buttons go where and so like that. So these are light up, not me just trying to focus on these bits here. So here we go. That was warp drive. Torpedo. I think this is the bridge one. This is really loud. Oh god. If you were on the Enterprise at the time. I don't know if we remastered this one or done something with it, but is it you're on the bridge at the time? This this would irritate me loads. Even though it's Star Trek, this would actually probably annoy me. I'll probably just get scream one day. Now this is the bridge sounds. I don't know. I don't think it's out on the show, but as it was, that'd be quite irritating every day. Phasers. They ain't got no explosion like the next generation one did. I think it's just because like on the original series they hardly ever really did. When they exploded it just make a flash like light sort of thing, you'd hardly ever get a really, like explosion thing. Like they did. Um now the saucer not saucer, the shuttle bay is really pain good. Um shuttle bay is really like really mouldy and good. The um the other downside is the speakers aren't really hit all that well, really. I mean, you can tell there the speakers here are. They're meant to be windows on the original series, but you can pretty much tell those are the like sound effect things. I mean, on the original series, you can't see. You don't. I don't think anyone remembers seeing these massive windows aside the of the Enterprise. But when you get this ship, right? <laughs> I got this. And I thought, wow, a model. I thought it was a modelling way, it was Playmates, because I've never really seen this shit before. I've seen videos on it, but I'm not that much. But I've seen videos, but that's about it, really. But I mean, it's, it's like a model when you get it. it's a big shit. And when you do put this next to the Enterprise D or any of them, it's big, it's bigger. It doesn't go at all. They, they don't match up in size comparisons at all, really. Um, Mine did come about the box, so I can't really say anything about but the box is just like any other box really. It just tells you a bit of history about it and what else you can get and what it doesn't, and how it's like. Another thing is, 
because the cells come off like this, so it's like a sort of like tool, sort of like effect you can have. Well, but that's your the cell, like a big pylon. But then this clipping like that. I recommend it. I would definitely recommend it. If you love this ship, I would get the HD edition if you can. But this one, as you see, it's good price. Recommend it. Buy, 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 buy. Right now, from Star Trek 99, signing out.